You, Brian Scott's busybody! Who died and made you constable? Easy now, Scudder. Your cousin gave me permission to come in. Greedence means everything he says, and thinks everyone else does too. What do you want? I'm investigating a haunting, your haunting, as a matter of fact. I don't yet know whose ghost it is, but it'll have good reason to linger. There's no beast here. Get out of my house. You're haunted, doesn't that worry you? You know I'll do you fair. I... N no, you're trying to bewilder me. Out with you, out of my house. Your father's son. You must worry you'll repeat his many mistakes. How do you know? L leave me be. You can't do this to us. From your demeanor, I'm guessing it was your first time. Killing a man, I mean. It... No. I dare not. I can't. I... No. Please. Go. Enough. What foe retribution is this? Son. Oh, oh no! They hanged the old man! They hanged old Jed! The light is doomed! I too shall swing! You must be the boy's father. My son is innocent. I'm Antea Duarte, and this is Red McWraith. We are banishers. Look to Credence. In your letter, you said you were coming to New Eden. You made it, sort of. What happened? <sighs> I had passage booked to Boston. A captain who asked no questions. And a ship's cook who needed the reward money. The catch poles took me at the dock. Ten days later, they took me up to Gallows Acre. And there I was hanged. For murder? For murder, yeah. And all the rest. Why? Why'd you do it? You ever been to London, Scotsman? Aye, I have. Then you've seen how the people live. The toffs, I mean. Them as has money. How do you think they come by? With their wars, and their taxes, and their sheriffs, and their bailiffs, that's how. They kill for gain. Why should I be different? What of Credence? Why should we look to him? He was a hellion as a baby, and no mistake. Especially after his mum and dad died, and we took him in. I thought him an odd child. But he were happy with my Mary, and sweet too. She loved him. He's a bad one, and probably always was. He hides it better than any rogue, just as he hides the sharpness of his wit. Why send him to New Eden, then? Mary thought to take the boys as far from Bristol as she could go. In the colonies, so went her thinking. She could raise two good and honest men. But without her guiding hand, tis clear that Credence bent, beloved. Crooked. Can you be sure Beloved is innocent? He doesn't seem to believe it himself. He has my blood. But he has his mother's too. And she were good. He has her heart. I know my son. He's no killer. What do you want, Ghost? Why have you come? Beloved is my boy. Yes, we get that. 
good of you to visit. Why have you come? We lived in Bristol. Barely. Shared a leaky room with other lodgers all were ill all the time. My wife deserved better. We all did. I gathered every shilling I could and sent the boy, his mother and his cousin, to the colonies. Beloved's my son, and now he's grown. I'll make sure he straightens up. What happened to his mother? Mary were with child when she set sail for New Eden. She refused to raise another baby in bloody Bristol. Neither of them survived that first winter. Beloved and Credence were left alone. I sent my family away to give them better lives. I failed. But not all is lost. I can yet save my son from the corruption of his wily cousin, Credence. It takes a bad and to catch a bad, and that's how I know Credence is vicious. He has a hiding place in the woods. There, you'll find the proof. Where, exactly? How shall we know this hiding place? There's a small wood cabin, but well hid, west of here. On the heights. A wooden cabin hidey hole. West. Got it. We'll investigate Credence's hideout then. Make our own minds up. I speak the truth. You'll see it. Beloved just learned of his father's death. Maybe we should go to him before searching Credence's hide. Someone's lying. Maybe everyone's lying. Jed's ghost is at once benign and hostile. <laughs>